Hello folks, this is my newest home escalator elevator invention. It uses the same mechanical controls as my other two inventions, but this one goes all the way up instead of stopping at the landing. The landing has caused several problems that this machine solved. I could not keep my first invention, the moving stair home elevator escalator, because by extending the bottom stair out to house the motor, it blocked this door. The door got blocked by the bottom step, so I couldn't really use that one. I had to take it apart. And my second invention, the $250 home elevator escalator, I couldn't use that either because the rails stop a step below the top, leaving no place to put the motor. So you can see, as I showed you before, the rails go up and they stop just below the top step. This then is my final version, a $300 home elevator escalator for stairs. Costs are basically the same as the $250 machine, but this one uses a more powerful motor, costing about $50 more, making the total cost for materials about $300. Here is a material and cost list along with a diagram. And here's a diagram of the controls. Here you can see the carriage, how the carriage was built. Here and over here are the controls. So just a basic diagram showing the controls and the uh, how I set it up at the top of the stairs. Now the motor itself is on the landing. Okay, let's go on up the stairs and uh, show you how it works. Get on. There I am on. Now this little white pipe on the side is attached to the main pipe so when I push down on it Here you can see the motor on the landing and the cable going up and uh, the step that I have to take in order to take to go uh, upstairs and this is the uh, the um, the uh, thing that I hit in order to go down in other words it pulls this mechanism As you can see, it hits right here and stops the motor. So let's go down a little ways. And stop it. And here you can see the control here. And this switch, well, you can see, goes back and forth. And here is the, uh, are the uh, cabinet catches that hold it in place. And there are two springs at the bottom that balance it out. So when this pulls up, let it go.
Also, just like the other one, you can see I have a safety switch with that big long cord going all the way down to the bottom. So if there was ever any trouble, you can pull the safety switch and it will stop it immediately. Well, so that's it folks, for $300 you can build yourself a nice escalator, elevator, and good luck if you do because it's a wonderful invention. Thank you. Bye.